It was a regular Thursday afternoon. Mrs. Frumi Malachi was in the kitchen preparing for Shabbos when she suddenly heard a knock on the front door. When she opened it, she was surprised to see there was a middle-aged African-American woman standing there with a bag of tefillin in her hand. I say, hi, how are you? She's like, yeah, I'm an Uber driver and I dropped off a young kid last night on the lake and he left what I believe to be is a religious article in the back of my car. Do you mind helping me find the owner? I said, sure, leave it at my house. Mrs. Malachi looked at the tefillin bag. It had two initials and a last name, Cohen. She snapped a picture of it and she posted it on all of her WhatsApp groups. She sent it to her husband, Ovadi, who posted it on all of his WhatsApp groups. Within less than an hour, I got the phone call that it belongs to a family Cohen that we actually, we know them very, very well. They came and picked it up. I called back the Uber driver. I informed her that we found the owner and she was so happy and she was actually really raving about the Jewish people. She was like, you guys are so nice and I, if I, I would totally do this again if it happened again. I, I thanked her for doing a kindness to us and you know, God bless you. And that was it, really. Until the next morning. Ovadi was in Shul Davening, and as he's finishing up and wrapping his tefillin, this fellow comes over to him, Mr. Cohen, the father of the boy, and he says, Ovadi, thank you so much for returning my son's tefillin yesterday. How did you get it? And Ovadi says, well, this African-American Uber driver shows up at my door saying that this boy left it in her car the day before, and she figured she'd knock on a random door of a random house asking for help to return it to its rightful owner. So Mr. Cohen says, Ovadi, she did not knock on a random door of a random house. But he says, what do you mean? It was a random door of a random house. She didn't know where to go. So Mr. Cohen says, she might not have known where to go, but Hashem knew where to send her. Seven years ago or so, my son, Nehemia Yosef, was getting ready to get bar mitzvah. And Ovadi approached me in the shul and he says to me, I'm buying a tefillin for your son, bar mitzvah. I reminded Ovadi, I said, this tefillin you bought seven years ago. And look at this today, they came back to you. Even though we had no cars in the driveway and it seemed that nobody was home at that time, she still took the initiative to, to knock on our door out of 50 homes that could have been much closer to the Coens. They're, they're really on the other side of South Lake Drive. You know, every story and every experience is in the Torah. And after I heard this story, I opened the Chumash and I came across this Pasuk that I believe describes this exact story, not in its literal meaning, but I'm Hasidish, so I have a license to read the Pasuk a little differently. The Pasuk says, Oir ha'oila asher hikriv la kohen lo yia. Or, the animal skin, tefillin is made of animal skin. Ha'oila, that goes up on your head, you put the tefillin on top of your head. Asher hikriv, that you donated, dedicated, sacrificed la kohen to the kohen, to the kohen family. Lo yia belongs to the original owners, to the malachis. Because ultimately, what we give away is what we keep forever.